In previous videos, I showed you guys how much of a mess it is when you drop the transmission pan when it's full of oil, since American vehicles don't seem to have drain plugs. Today, I'm going to take the easy method and use a suction pump to suck out as much as I can from the pan before we drop it. I borrowed this pump from my neighbor. It's a cat's ass. You pump it about 20 times, and it just sucks it out, as you can see right there. So it's a slow process. We'll let that drain before we get ready to drop the pan. Now the fun begins, gonna pull bolts out of the pan and drop her down. That little plastic thing was in the bottom of the oil pan, that can't be good at all. Oh, this old filter should just pull right out just like that. Yeah, don't be too surprised to find a shitload of metal filings on that magnet too. That's just from normal wear and tear. I was quite worried about this little plunger, so I had to Google it, see if anybody else had issues, and it is your transmission plug. So when the transmission's installed, this is the plug for the dipstick. So once the dipstick's installed, it pushes it through. Nothing to worry about. I was a little concerned, like where the fuck does this go? Where does this go? But don't worry about it. We got the transmission pan cleaned up. I'm gonna put some silicone on the gasket just to make it sit a little bit better. Then we're gonna put that back in. All right, let's go ahead. Snap the new one into place. Just like that. Done. All right, I got a shitload in the pan plus what didn't get pumped out there. So I'm gonna fucking empty that out and then fill her full of transmission fluid. All right, now comes the slow, painful process of filling the oil back up. I'm gonna put about four liters back in it. All right, I'm gonna start this thing up, check for leaks, and then we're going to um, run it through the gears a few times and then circulate it and then pump out some more and then fill it back up. While it's running, look for leaks. Looks like it's all right. I'm just pumping out the pan again, which will be about two liters. And it's not even that dark. I don't know, I think I added about six liters in total. So, plus what's in there. Suck this up, put some more in. It's not, it's not a flush, I'm just doing a pan and drop so you're not gonna get all the oil out like there's other methods you could do I mean you can split your lines from your tranny cooler if you have the tool and just pump it out that would be the perfect way but I don't have that tool and uh, the transmission lines in the bottom are pretty corroded from the Canadian winters I don't want to play that game so I mean the oil wasn't burnt or anything else beforehand so I'm just doing a pan and drop to a suction call it good all right, I got the transmission filled up where I think it's got to be. It's in between the lines and it's not quite hot out. So we're going to take it out for a good rip here. See how well it shifts and then recheck it when I get the transmission good and hot and see if I have to pull some out or maybe add a little bit. So let's see if the transmission is going to fuck up or not. So I got 190,000 kilometers on this truck and uh, judging by that plug in the transmission pan, the tr oil's never been changed unless it's, they just sucked it out and filled it back up, but uh, so far so good, it's running nice, shifting smooth. Sometimes after you change your oil, there's a chance that with the old fluid, and you put new stuff in, it doesn't really like it that well and your gears might slip and everything else, but so far it's running good. I'm just gonna get back to the house since I got the engine nice and heated up. We're gonna double check the transmission fluid one last time and see where it's sitting. Yeah, right on the full mark now. Nice and clean. All right, do you know what time it is? It's fucking beer time, that's what time it is. The transmission filter and oil has been changed in the truck. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not a proper flush. Anyways, I'm gonna end my video on that on changing your transmission filter in your uh, F-150. It's actually a pretty easy job. 
once again, even though I sucked it out, I was only able to get like two liters out of the pan, but there's still oil that stays in there. And the key thing is when you're filling it full of oil, when you're getting close to the mark, it's going to be cold. So when the engine's hot, the oil's going to expand. So realistically, when you're filling the oil, you want to get the oil in the bottom part of the safe zone. And then take it out for a rip, get it good and hot, then come back and check it. Because then you're going to know that your oil is going to be a little bit higher on that stick. And then add oil accordingly till it's properly full, then you're good to go. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.